Hey everybody, it's Chase with AV Pop Culture again, and I am surprisingly back because there is massive physical media news breaking this morning. I haven't even had my coffee yet, and uh, I had to get on here because there are a lot of exciting things. Plus, tonight is my 1500 subscriber live stream giveaway. Lots of great things, so pop that tape in. I got you. Let's go do this. All right, so I don't really, <laughs> I really am not trying to do the news a lot, but like I promise you guys, if there are things that I am targeting for pre-order, I am going to come in and tell you about them because I don't want you to miss them. I want you to know what I'm looking for, and it's not just going to be everything. There's some other announcements that I'm not covering today. These are the things that I am after, and one of them is something I've been telling you guys is coming and that is the big one. That is the second sight set, say that a few times fast, of the Hitcher 4K, big, beautiful set from Second Sight. It was announced this morning. Uh, you can pre-order it right now through Second Sight, through Diabolic, or like I did, I went to Orbit DVD uh, this morning. Let's check it out right here. There it is. There is a standard edition uh, 4K. There is a Blu-ray coming out. I don't know why we want that. And there is the big, beautiful set. Let's check it out. All right, there it is. So if you order directly from Second Sight, it's $55. Let's check that out over here. So it's $54.42 if you order it from Second Sight. See that right there. Um, the exact same set. If you order from Orbit, is going to be fifty nine ninety nine. So it's five dollars more, but you're not paying twenty plus dollars or whatever it is to ship it from overseas to ship it internationally. You don't have to worry about it. It is the same release date. It is going to be the thirtieth of September. Um, so. You know, it, you order where you want to, but um, Orbit, you're not going to have, or Diabolic, you're not going to have to worry about the, the international shipping. Uh, I have to admit, I have not bought anything direct, directly from Second Sight. So it's not like with Zavi and stuff like that. I can't tell you, or Turbine, I can't tell you how fast or slow that they ship or Umbrella, where I've had experience with them. Uh, but I do know that Second Sight has amazing sets. That Dog Soldiers is one of my favorite ever. Uh, so yeah, there, there it is. Oh, I put it this morning on my... Um, how long ago was it that I put it on here? I put it on this morning about 25 minutes ago as the recording of this. Uh, this thing is stacked with features. I mean, just an absolute ton. So you have... It's gonna have the. Uh, it's gonna have. This is a massive book with it here. Two books with it. All of these big uh, art cards. Let's see. Special features. Dual format edition. Both Ultra HD and Blu-ray with main features and bonus discs or bonuses on both discs. So you're gonna get all the extra features in the 4K. That's awesome. It's presented in Dolby Vision HDR. Uh, it's going to have Dolby Atmos and stereo mixes, uh, an audio commentary with Robert Harmon and writer Eric Reed, uh, scene-specific audio commentary, that's interesting, with pretty much everybody associated with this movie, including uh, Rutger Hauer and C. Thomas Howe, uh, the Projection Booth podcast featuring Robert Harmon and Rutger Hauer, uh, Bullseye, a new interview with Robert Harmon that is 41 minutes long. Pinning the Ripper, a new interview with Eric Reed that's 41 minutes. Doomed to Live, a new interview with C. Thomas Howell, 28 minutes long. The Man from Oz, a new interview uh, with John Seal, 10 minutes. A very, inf a very formative score, an interview with Mark Isham, 15 minutes long. 
Dual Runner, Lee Singer and the Evolution of the Hitcher and Rutger Hauer, 20 Minutes, China Lake, a short film by Robert Harmon that's newly restored to 35 minutes. You're getting a whole other short film by Robert Harmon. Uh, the Calling Card, which is Robert Harmon on China Lake. So you're going to have a, a features of him talking about that special feature, 15 minutes. A short film by Eric Reed called Telephone that's 26 minutes long. Uh, a feature called The Hitcher, How Do These Movies Get Made? That's 38 minutes plus five minutes of trailers. That is a shitload of stuff on there. Uh, tons of extra features to keep you busy. And of course, the limited edition is going to have the big, hard, rigid slipcase with new artwork, a 200-page hardback book with uh, exclusive Robert Harmon interview by Lou Thomas, exclusive Eric Reed interview by Matthew Trift, new essays by Heather Drain, David Kittredge, Craig Ian Mann, Rebecca McCollum, Megan Navarro, John Towson, archival Fangoria articles and behind-the-scenes photo galleries, um, Eric Reed's original screenplay book, and six collector's art cards. Holy crap, this thing is going to be loaded. And for $59.99, that is an absolutely loaded set for a very anticipated movie. I already have my pre-order in this morning. I was not waiting. This is one I've been looking forward to getting, so I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about it. That is The Hitcher. Get excited. It is coming just a couple of months away. Get your pre-order in. Another one that I know you guys are very excited about is uh, Godzilla Minus One. Uh, there is right now a Blu-ray Deluxe Jap uh, Japan Collector's Edition that you can get at Godzilla.com. Um, and it is a stacked... Now, I have to admit, I have no idea about ordering uh, directly from here. But uh, it is available. I don't have a U.S. Uh, release date on a set like this, but these pre-orders are going fast. I just wanted to touch on it because I can't speak from experience, but uh, I didn't actually see this in the theater, so I, I can't wait to, to get a copy of this uh, and watch it, but this is a stacked uh, collector's edition right here. So if, for all you Godzilla Minus One fans, if you want one of those extra special editions, you're willing to drop the $65 plus the uh, overseas shipping, um, you can go ahead and get that right now. Very cool. Look at that. That is pretty badass. All right, so I wanted to touch on Godzilla Minus One, but that is not all. The other big news is... Um, Alien Romulus. The movie hasn't even come out yet. It has a tentative uh, 4K release date of November the 19th. It came out on Amazon. You cannot, it's not letting you put in a pre-order yet, but it does have this tentative release date here of November the 19th, a two-disc 4K set. Um, so there, it exists on Amazon right now. Uh, that you can't click and pre-order it, but there it is. And so before you've even digested it, uh, there it is with a 4K release date, Alien Romulus, looking like mid-November, and uh, we will get that on 4K. Now, another one that comes from Walmart that I am super excited for and that I'm going to grab are these two new steel books. Uh, you have Dracula, limited edition steel book, incredible art here, uh, 4K Ultra HD of the film. Super, super cool. Look at that artwork. I am going to be grabbing that. It uh, has some bonus features. Ooh, my thing's going crazy here. Some bonus features, uh, The Road to Dracula, Lugosi the Dark Prince. Now, I don't, I don't know like what all is uh, extra and has been on uh, other things before. 
I have the the big set that has like all of them in it on 4K, like all the the monster movies, the original Universal monsters. But uh, I am super looking forward to grabbing this and twenty six dollars. Uh, I don't think you can beat it. That artwork, look at that. That is so so cool. But that is not the only one. Uh, you've got Dracula dropping, but you also have uh, Frankenstein was also announced with this. And there is Frankenstein. Super cool set there, too. Look at that artwork. Holy crap. The artwork on the Steelbooks is worth buying them by themselves. Look at that. I know it's hard to like for, for those two, it's going to be like $52 to pony up for something that you may already have and may already have in 4K. Um, but man, that's just so cool. It's so cool. I may have to have those. I just, I, I think I got to have them. So I wanted to talk to you guys about them because look at this artwork. Of course, signed by the artist. These are incredible. I, I think I got to, I think I got to have it. I think I got to have it. So those are both available from Walmart for $26.96. You can pre-order. You can see it says one added here on my, my account uh, because I am getting it. That ships out. It says August the 22nd. So super duper cool on that. Uh, and then we have one more thing. There was a late night with the devil Limited edition Steelbook Blu-ray announced. It The release date is Tuesday, September the 10th. It is $35.68 right now on pre-order. It says 29% off the regular price of $49.99. Now, if you're like me and you missed the big umbrella set for this, this is not a Blu-ray. This is a 4K. But if you miss the big uh, umbrella set, let's see if I can pull that up real quick. Okay, there it is. If you miss this big, awesome set, now this was also a Blu-ray only. I don't know if we'll get a 4K of this. This is kind of strange. None of the big sets have a 4K. This is a Blu-ray only. Uh, but if you miss that big, beautiful set from Umbrella and you don't want to pay the aftermarket prices for it, uh, you can grab this Late Night with the Devil uh, Steelbook. You can pre-order it right now for $35, basically $36, which hurts because it's $36, which is almost half the price of that big, beautiful set. But what are you going to do? That set, when it comes out in somebody, and it's selling on eBay, it's going to be $200 bucks, probably, or $175. And I, don't wanna, I like the movie. I don't want to pay that. Uh, so I'm probably going to grab this Steelbook and uh, enjoy that. That is coming out September 10th, and you can get that from Amazon Prime. If there's any other release dates for it, I'll update it, because, you know, Amazon can mess you up. I tried to warn some of you guys about Amazon on a, a couple of my videos back, and uh, I had some of you come back and say, you were right, man. They screwed me on the, the Twister Steelbook. I'm not getting it. Uh, it's been delayed. All those kind of things. And it was out there available to get from like Orbit, Diabolic, Grindhouse, things like that, Groove. So the, you do have to keep that in mind with Amazon, but you can pre-order that. Now, these are the, some of the things that I'm targeting. There's definitely some other news out there. They're not things that I'm targeting. Uh, keep a watch out because I think they are re-releasing re some additional copies of Chinatown. I'm watching for that because I missed that the first go around. I didn't grab it. I didn't think a studio release would sell out that fast, and it did. So that bit me in the ass. So don't let it get you. But that's sort of the news. I wanted to jump on here real quick this morning. I got a big live stream to get ready for tonight, so I'm not going to uh, be on there too long. Uh, make sure you're on the live stream tonight. I'm giving away like the Terrifier 2. I'm going to draw the winner for Terrifier 2. Uh, for Of course, I'm going to give away some of my movies to go along with that and some more prizes in the live stream. I'm giving away Invasion of the Body Snatchers, a beautiful arrow set. 
Um, another copy of one of my movies, Creature Feature. Uh, and the big one, uh, at least in my opinion, is the big second sight set of Dog Soldiers. Uh, one of my favorites. So giving all that away tonight, we're going to draw the names live. And I'm going to pick more winners for more stuff from people who are in the live stream. So you got to be there. Get ready. Get excited. Get out here and get your pre-orders in. And uh, until next time, this is Chase with AV Pop Culture. Make sure you like, subscribe, consider joining the channel as a member. You get all kinds of other access. You get free stuff, stuff I give away, uh, you know, here and there. All kinds of different things, shout outs, all that. But just join the pop culture family by liking and subscribing, hanging around and uh, share this with uh, your friends, family, and especially those people you don't like. Punish them with it. <laughs> but until next time, this is Chase with AV Pop Culture saying be kind, rewind like always, and I'll see you real soon. I'll see some of you tonight. <laughs> bye bye.